All right, so we got Star Wars Jedi Survivor gameplays impressions after four hours. How come you get to play it but not me? That's crazy. All right, let's go into the video. I was able to play Jedi Survivor early and left very impressed. From the increased focus on exploration to the incredible Man, enemy how come variety, they didn't invite let's go me over out. I learned in this video. Thanks to EA for inviting us to the event and keep in EA, mind the EA man, I want my, I want my fame. Work in progress build, leaving a like would really EA. help us out. Subscribe for more videos on the Shout game. Shout out to Jor. Let's go. And if Raptor. you are or become a subscriber of the channel, you can participate in the digital deluxe edition giveaway for a platform of choice via the link in the pinned comment. Really but, now. So one thing that immediately stood out during the preview session, which takes place about one hour into the game, is just how much more cinematic the game feels. Really? Of course, already apparent in the recent story trailer, but I was still really surprised by the amount of new characters. This thing looks good, though. I can't lie, bro. Early on, which I think only bodes well for the rest of the game. And while we've seen and mentioned him before already, I cannot stress enough how cool of a villain Ravis is. After seeing that introduction Boy, scene in full, I can't man wait to see what built like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The game. But I don't want to talk too much about the story because I don't want to spoil any of the surprises. But something that I can talk about in depth is the amount of customization. And man, Ooh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. The first thing you will notice when going to one of the familiar workbenches is the fact that you can now fully customize your droid companion BD-1. You can swap out his binoculars, antennae, legs, you name it. And on top of that, the color customization okay. is way more in depth than just applying. Okay, colors. all right, all right, all right. You're now able to pick different main and highlight colors and even change the okay look how he's swaying back and forth or freshly blasted the bits the same also applies to lightsaber customization where you can also change the polish on individual parts so okay some very significant upgrades when compared to fallen order and i'm happy to say the same is also true when it comes to customizing our protagonist cal instead of choosing between okay. a full show and an outfit you can now change Cal's who's just like not have the beard? beard jacket shirt and pants jacket shirts and pants are all part of the <laughs> okay that jacket he rocking that jacket that boy rocking that jacket bro together, although you can of course mix and match pieces as you see fit i ran around with the tactical cloak as soon as i unlocked it but you can also put on a bomber jacket and give gal what a bomber jacket so depending nice. on your choices that goatee is not it buddy different there are also no offense no offense for your no offense but these have to be unlocked separately from the actual piece of clothing and while there are other ways to earn cosmetics now more on that later you can still find a lot of them in the familiar chest we know from fall in order which makes exploring Kobo oh so that's so just, okay you can unlock them or you can find them okay noted all right fine course, way more areas to explore similar to ghost of tsushima or certain ubisoft games you can talk to npcs in rambler's reach or out when exploring kobo who will sometimes give you valuable information on interesting locations to visit okay these locations are then marked on your map and while you never really know what you're getting into so far these points of interest have all been Boy, i love that There's double like a double light oh my radars, god bro mine factor but the coolest one by far is exploring an abandoned mine and stumbling upon a rancor. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You can find Boy, what type of after little more. I don't remember that. Whoa! Look, be careful. Is this in a new game? Though, as well, I think the footage here kind of speaks for itself. Oh, oh, by oh, the way, oh, 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 oh. She's a so man eater. As we plan to do a Q&A video next, where we try to answer hey. more questions based on my four-hour experience. So yes, exploring and unlocking cosmetics is of course. Okay, awesome, he, he looks somewhat I decent with a little mullet. Okay. Okay. The fact that there are a lot of unlockable upgrades to make Cal even more of a powerhouse. You can find these blue crystals on both the main path and when exploring, and these can contain things like health and force upgrades, ah, skill okay. and even better perks. The way those work is pretty simple, but it adds another welcome layer of depth to Jedi Survivor's combat. You start out Come with here. these slots, but the game immediately tells you that oh, you are able to oh increase that number over god. the course of the game, which you'll want to do because more powerful perks can oh take Oh my god, and you can deflect the... I was oh. able to find two of them during my play session. I can't wait till this comes out. took up one slot and increased your guard meter, hey! meaning you can block... Get over here! Hits. But the shatter perk I came across a little... Bro, he's later, getting mixed up, bro. No type of defense, nothing. Your guard damage against enemies. Hey, we so far, these are mostly passive and not so much an earth shattering change to Cal's abilities, but more of Bro, a Cal going stupid. A part of your play style. But with 25 of them in total, I'm sure there's going to be some tough oh my choices that need God. to be made. Although you can swap them out freely at any meditation. Focus points, parry, you okay. To experiment to your heart's content. Now, one thing I haven't really touched on is the importance of Rambler's Reach, which is a settlement on Kobo that, at least for now, serves as your home base. Okay. We'll have a lot of reasons to return here 
as you can recruit new NPCs to come here and unlock new features. Hmm, An example of this okay. is interaction with the DJ Ash and her droid DD, who will set up a DJ booth in the cantina after you talk to them. Yeah, the okay. A jukebox with new songs being purchasable from Doma, another NPC in Rambler's Reach that will also sell you tons of different cosmetics like a oh! bow or a cool Corsair jacket. To buy her wares, you need a unique resource known oh, as Oh no! Shards. I was able to find plenty of. They had Ezra in 2009. Rainy Yorn ball cut. Found lying around, and some of them are carried by these scavenger droids that will run away and dig themselves into the ground if they feel threatened. I was able to sneak up on one and get it that way, but once they spot you, they're pretty tricky to get a hold of. Really? I'm also pretty sure there are more unique resources than just priorite, so I'm betting Doma isn't the only merchant willing to sell us cool stuff. Oh, it's alright. Oh, you got a doctor just to spend. <laughs> find plant seeds in the open world and make it a no, this is what the doctor's respect, man. New interactions and Shout out to the go, bro. People living in the settlement after hitting major story beats. <laughs> so again, there will be plenty of reasons to return here on the regular, which is of course even easier thanks to the vision of fast travel that allows you to instantly teleport to any previously unlocked meditation oh my point. God. Now there are instances in which fast travel is blocked, mostly when you're in a specific area for the story. So I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. Other than that, there are no restrictions, and you'll still be able to unlock a lot of shortcuts. So coming back to a previously visited area with the ability oh, to man. unlock some new secrets is going to be a breeze. Gal's newly found ability to tame animals also really helps with this. I was able to try out both okay. the belt, which is called the Neko, and the flying belter that you can use as a glider on Kobo. The belter can help you quickly cross long distances from a high vantage point, although there are gusts that of boy. wind that you can use to regain altitude if you fly Ooh, over them. That boy the Neko, flying. on top of being really cute and a much faster way of getting around, is also a tool you can use to reach new areas thanks okay. to its high jump. Thanks, By bro. Appreciate it. Jump, Cal leaps off the Neko's back in midair, allowing you to reach much higher than That's you pretty fire. You can like you get you can use your and environment to that's fire. I like that. Thing, one of these creatures you can use it on any that you can Man, this call. looks really so good, bro. Neko with a different pattern or color on the fur that you like more, you can tame that one and bring it back to the stables in Rambler's Reach for later use. Really? Like, you want one that matches your lightsaber color, which is of course something you can still Oh my god. The work oh my god. I can't lie. Pink looks absolutely amazing as a lightsaber, bro. Meditation point. Quick saber. If you don't know, in Jedi Survivor, Cal will have access to five different lightsaber stances. Single bladed, dual bladed, dual wield, cross guard, and a saber blaster stance. You can Comment down below, like, what's one, what's one do you guys prefer? Anytime, but you can I like the duo one. Between your available options by selecting stances when meditating. I, oh, sorry, the, the double bladed. I like the double bladed. Power, speed, range, and defense. While both the single and dual bladed sabers still feel really good to use, I run around with the dual sabers for most of my preview. They're okay. really quick and satisfying and have unlockable skills that can either Weave. close or create distance between you and an Bro, that man Cal, bro, is fast, bro. He's well. very fast. Off the skill tree, this still works in a similar fashion to Fallen Order, although your options are greatly expanded. So you earn XP by defeating enemies, and when the Obviously. fills up, you get a skill point, but you, of course, lose progress towards your next skill point if you die. And that's going okay. to be even more of a problem in Jedi Survivor, as there will be a lot more skills to choose from. Each lightsaber configuration has its own skill tree, and with at least eight unlockable skills per saber stance that was available in the demo, it's definitely smart to focus on one or two styles that you enjoy as you're not going to this have a demo? points needed to unlock all of them early. And Wait, is there actually a demo? This is adding on top of what was already there in Fallen Order, as most of the skills you had in that game are available right off the bat in Jedi Survivor. So no need to wait before you can start Get him out of here. And pulling people. <laughs> there's and a demo? A new trick you're able to perform, which is for Please tell me there's a demo. This is effectively Cal's version of a Jedi mind trick and allows you to target an enemy and make them attack their allies. I was even able to unlock an upgrade for it, which let me use it on larger beasts. You can use so that on- I was able to turn this giant bile mall, a new enemy that's also very fun to fight, against a squad of stormtroopers and let it do the dirty work for me. So definitely a great way to even the- That's fire, upper. bro. What I am still curious about is if upgrading powers is something we get to see more. I was only able to find the upgrade to confusion from one of those blue crystals I mentioned earlier, but because yeah. it was part of the main story, I don't know if you can also find ability upgrades by simply exploring. I hope that is the case, but we'll have to wait and see. I've mostly focused on all the new things you can do so far, but I oh my god, that scared me. Mentioned the incredible enemy variety on display in these opening hours. Okay. I already mentioned the biomod. Oh my god. <laughs> more alien creatures that will gladly take you for their lunch if you're not careful. Uh oh. Mogu is a oh my god. Dangerous one. 
as we already saw the he looks like a menace feature was shown in the trailer but what we now learned is that you can give yourself <laughs> oh my god by cutting off one of its arms since it uses its claws Sloings. to attacks, this will make it much less dangerous but you have to admire maybe if I have you could like pick up his arm and just throw it at him full force after losing an arm we already saw a lot of the battle oh Raiders my god shown footage but they're really fun to fight and the banter from the battle droids never oh my god cow you so not at this point to face off against a new type of imperial trooper with a shield that can be problematic to deal with Ooh. without any force oh my god riot shields you know, however, i just get ptsd just from call of duty alone and then blasted with riot shields bro oh my god quick finish and while i was able to learn a lot more about the game thanks to my hands-on time i was mostly left hungry for more there were a lot of things on oh. alone that i still wanted to complete but didn't have time for like a force there i found that leads into a challenge room with a platform puzzle you see that laser grid coming towards you the red side will kill you and the green side will let you pass but each time oh. you jump the two halves okay now this looks fine this looks so fine you really have to be smart about your jump timings and placing if you want to reach the end of this challenge and oh. all of this is available pretty much right at the start of the game so i can only imagine the amount of cool stuff really to discover when we get our hands on the full version yeah, puzzles as well in less than a month if you'll believe it but before that we'll have more videos on jedi survivor up on the channel so subscribe to not miss those and again share your questions for our bro i love that bro comments leave a like if you enjoyed this video and if you want you can watch our previous one on all the big improvements jedi survivor is making by clicking on the screen i will see you in the next one goodbye all right jor all right listen jor raptor shout out to you uh for for your insight on the on the hands-on experience you know with the new game i love when games have this bro it's kind of like um oh my god it's kind of like it's kind of like in call of duty right whenever like you sneak up on like an enemy like you stab them with a knife and like this blood on them oh my god brother you see how like uh how like the monster has like has like the marks or like the scars from like the lights from the lightsaber bro look at this oh my god i love that so much it's just stuff like that really excites me because i'm like bro like it's, it's like the, it's like the little details that like we that usually a lot of people would just you know not really think about. I love that so much. I love that so much. But if there's actually a demo, yeah, just know I'm playing it. J yeah, just j yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know that I'm playing a demo. If there's a demo, I'm playing it. That's number one. Number two, um, my thing is th the game was supposed to come out March seventeenth. Uh, it is now April. I think the game is uh, dropping April twentieth. 20 something I, I don't know like the like the specific date but i know it's dropping like later april right i want to know why they pushed it back now they probably could have pushed it back because it, it i mean well obviously it wasn't ready but at the same time i just want to know why they pushed it back because bro this game looks perfect bro i don't know i really don't know because like bro th this looks really playable they got like a bunch of new things coming through especially like you know um you change the buses. Oh my god, it... bro! I just cannot wait to play it, bro. The last one was absolutely amazing. Hopefully, this one. Well, looking at the gameplay, hopefully this one is is, is uh, up to par or even better, bro. Because this looks absolutely fire, bro. And I know all oh, game trailers and gameplay two different things, yeah. But when it comes down to this game, we said the same thing about uh, uh, uh about Jedi Jedi Survivor, bro. We said the same thing about about the first one, bro. We said the same thing about the first one. Whenever the first one came out in 20... What, when did the first one come out? The first one come out... When did the first one come out? 20... Don't get me to lying. 2019? 20, uh, was it 2018? 2019? I don't know. Whenever the first one came out, I absolutely loved it. And it, listen, and the trailer was fire too. And we all thought, okay, dude, there's no way it could be that good. No. We got gameplay. Shout out to my man, Joy Raptor. But we got gameplay, okay? This looks absolutely fire. We got new bosses, new everything. Oh, man. I'm excited. Comment down below what you guys think of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Um, no other words to say about me. If you guys enjoyed my reaction or yeah, whatever, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm just excited. And uh, I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And.